Excellent. So for some weeks now, we've been working on vocabulary. Vocabulary to help you in your IELTS. Today, we're going to look at one more vocabulary, a common vocabulary to all of you. And we'll be discussing tenses. Last week we did um, this and these, if you remember. Last week we studied this and these. Uh, the previous week we've been looking at a lot more vocabulary to improve upon your vocabulary so that whether it is the speaking test, the reading test, the writing or the listening test, your vocabulary will be top notch. Remember, when we were looking at um, the band descriptors, if you remember what the band descriptors is, the band descriptors is the areas you'll be scored in each of the component of the IELTS. The band, when we're discussing the band descriptors, vocabulary run through all. All right, so today let's discuss tenses. I want to start with a short video. Please pay attention. Grammatical tense is how languages talk about time without explicitly naming time periods by instead modifying verbs to specify when action occurs. So how many different tenses are there in a language like English? At first, the answer seems obvious. There's past, present, and future. But thanks to something called grammatical aspect, each of those time periods actually divides further. There are four kinds of aspect. In the continuous or progressive aspect, the actions are still happening at the time of reference. The perfect aspect describes actions that are finished. The perfect progressive aspect is a combination, describing a completed part of a continuous action. And finally, there's the simple aspect, the basic form of the past, present, and future tense, where an action is not specified as continuous or discrete. That's all a little hard to follow, so let's see how it works in action. Let's say your friends tell you they went on a secret naval mission to collect evidence of a mysterious sea creature. The tense sets the overall frame of reference in the past, but within that, there are many options. Your friends might say a creature attacked their boat. That's the past simple, the most general aspect, which gives no further clarification. They were sleeping when it happened, a continuous process underway at that point. They might also tell you they had departed from Nantucket, to describe an action completed even earlier. That's an example of the past perfect. Or that they had been sailing for three weeks, something that was ongoing up until that point. In the present, they tell you that they still search for the creature today, their present simple activity. Perhaps they are preparing for their next mission continuously as they speak. And they have built a special submarine for it, a completed achievement. Plus, if they have been researching possible sightings of the creature, it's something they've been doing for a while and are still doing now, making it present perfect progressive. So what does this next mission hold? You know it still hasn't happened because they will depart next week, the future simple. Your friends will be searching for the elusive creature, an extended continuous undertaking. They inside. will have reached uncharted depths. That's a confident prediction about what will be achieved by a specific point in the future, a point at which they will have been voyaging for three weeks in the future perfect progressive. The key insight to all these different tenses is that each sentence takes place in a specific moment, whether it's past, present, or future. aspects is that they tell you, as of that moment, a status. of the action. In total, they give us 12 possibilities in English. What about other languages? Some, like French, Swahili, and Russian, take a similar approach to English. 
Others describe and divide time differently. Some have fewer grammatical tenses, like Japanese, which only distinguishes past from non-past. Buli and tukangbesi, which only distinguish future from non-future. And Mandarin Chinese, with no verb tenses at all, only aspect. On the other hand, languages like Yagua split past tense into multiple degrees, like whether something happened hours, weeks, or years ago. In others, tenses are intertwined with moods that convey urgency, necessity, or probability of events. This makes translation difficult, but not impossible. Speakers of most languages without certain tenses can express the same ideas with auxiliary words like would or did, or by specifying the time they mean. Are the variations from language to language just different ways of describing the same fundamental reality? Or do their diverse structures reflect different ways of thinking about the world, and even time itself? And if so, what other ways of conceiving time may be out there? TED-Ed is a nonprofit. If you value our work, please consider supporting it on patreon.com slash TED-Ed. Okay. So that was to tenses. Introduction to tenses. Today we're going to... Reporting in progress. Today we're going to look at tenses a little more, more closer. And then I will go through how to use them. Oh. What is going on? Why are you guys still leaving the microphones on? Please mute your microphone. Okay. That's much better. All right, so today, a short presentation on tenses. I'm sure you have learned this way back, but the S, your essays I have read tells me you have much to improve on when it comes to tenses. So, <clears throat> Tense, a tense is used to describe a verb in relation to time. Remember, a verb is an action word, a word that describes an action. So in, in the simplest form, there are three main tenses in English. We have the present tense, we have the past tense, and we have the future tense. And we're going to look at each of them in detail. So the present tense will have present simple tense. And this is the tense that is used to refer to events, actions, and conditions that are happening all the time or exist now. So we have examples, I swim every day, I swim every day. So this is an action, it describes swimming, the action that is taking place all the time. Or I play football, 
In play are the action words. And here, because they are caring now or at all times, we say they are present simple tense. Present simple tense. Now, verb tenses inform us how an action relates to time and can create a lot of confusion if used incorrectly. We want you to familiarize yourself with the different verb tenses as verb can change forms depending on the tenses they are in. Now the general rule for past simple tenses is to add ed at the end of the verb. Not apply to all verbs. Okay. The present simple tense. Let's look at present continuous tense. <clears throat> uh, one second. Somebody's microphone is on and is keep. This hey, Elizabeth Nyakwa, can you please mute your microphone? Thank you. Present continuous, the tense that is used for actions happening now or for action that is unfinished. This tense is also used when the action is temporary. So examples, I am swimming in my neighbor's pool now. So it is continuous. It's not finished. The person is still swimming. So swim is the action word. When you add ing, swimming, it becomes present continuous. She is speaking to my mom at the moment. Speak. It's the action word, you add ing. So present continues, the general rule is you add ing to the simple present tense and you have the present continuous. Then we have present perfect. Still talking about present tense. We have seen present tense, present simple. We have seen present continuous. We are looking at present perfect tense. The tense that is used for something that started in the past and continued to the present time. It has started in the past, but it is continuing in the present time. It has not ended. If at the time we were speaking, it has ended. It is no longer present perfect. It becomes a past tense. But if the action is still continuing, it started previously and is still continuing, it becomes present perfect tense. So two examples. I have swam in the sea countless times. The actual word here is swim. Swam means started earlier, but it's still ongoing. I have spoken to her many times. Speak is the action word here, happening many times. It becomes present perfect. Okay. And one little complication, present perfect continuous. The tense that is used to show that something started in the past and is continuing at the present times. I have been swimming since I was seven years old. She has been competing in dance competition, you normally will add being to present. 
Now look at that. the second set of tens, past tens. The tense that is used to describe an event or an action that has happened in the past. Yesterday, I swam. Ten laps. Swam. Now look at the spelling of this swam. It's the past of swim. S W A M. Sorry to please put your mic. I want you to take notice of the spelling swam, past tense or swim, S W A M, for simple past tense. Now let's double back a couple of slides. Look at present perfect swam. S W U M. This is the present perfect spelling of swim. Swam with a U, not with an A. When you bring an A, it becomes a past. Matthew Thomas. Okay. So please take notice of the two spellings, swim and swan. There are many, many, many words that confuses a lot of people when they are, they are spelling the present continuous of that word and the past tense of that word. All right, so let's come back to past, simple past. So yesterday I swam 10 laps. Last night I cooked chicken curry, cooked, cooked. That is the past tense of cook. You add ed to it and you are good. So I messed up something here. Yeah, so verb stances inform us, uh, inform us on how actions relate to time and can create a lot of confusion. So when we come here, the general rule for the past simple tense is to add ed at the end of the verb. But that is always not simple. But the general rule for turning a present tense into a past tense is simply to add ed. So you see the word cook here, we add ed to it. And we have cooked. But the word swim, you can add uh, ed to it, swim, to become past tense. No. Past tense of swim is swam. W A M. Past tense of run. W, sorry, R A N. Run. Is run. Same pronunciation. But when you bring it to past, sorry, present perfect, the spelling changes. Now let's look at past <clears throat> continuous. The tense that is used for a continuing action or event in a time which began or existed in the past. It can also be used to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. So let's look at some example. I was swimming with David last night when Bob arrived. 
I was swimming with David last night when Bob arrived. Here, swim is the action word. It happened in the past, arrived, but when an event occurred, when Bob arrived, the swimming was still continuing. But all that happened in the past, so it becomes a past tense. But since another event occurred, when that reference event was ongoing, it becomes a past continuous tense. In May, she was teaching in a school in Darwin. In May, she was teaching in a school in Darwin. And here the action word is teaching. Happened in May at a place called Darwin. Alfred, your hand is up. Do you have a question to ask? Yes, please. Uh, sir, I wanted to ask, uh, for example, like I was in a meeting when David arrived. This is a past continuum. Yes, that is a past continuous in meeting. So the meeting is the verb. You know, the, normally we said meeting, um, present continuous meeting. Meet is the action. I and G at the end makes it present continuous. That something is ongoing, but it is ongoing when something arrives that puts everything in the past. And that meeting now becomes a past continuous, although it sounds like a, something that is still going on. Okay. Then we have the past perfect. The past perfect tense. The tense that is used to make it clear that one event happened before another in the past. I had swam the breaststroke before I turned eight. Swam. You remember this swam? S W U M. Is this a past tense or present continuous? Present continuous. Thank you. Present continuous. Thank you very much. You are here. Thank you for staying a week. So S W U M. Present continuous. When you make it S W A M, it becomes simple past tense of the word swim. Those who are confused, it means you are not paying attention. Please sit down. Then the next example, he had failed to communicate that he had another wife when we first met. He had failed to communicate that he had another wife when we first met. Ryan, seriously, why would you leave your microphone on and uh, somebody is whistling? Okay, so he failed to communicate that he had another wife when we first met. Pass, perfect. Then we can have past perfect continuous. Past perfect continuous. The tense that is used to show that an action started in the past and continued up until another time in the past. They all need to be in the past. I had been swimming for many years before Priya picked up the sport. 
Dave had been playing soccer for 10 years when he was offered a sport on the U.S. Olympic team. Notice the difference? So both events happen in the past. We still use swimming as though it is still continuing. We use playing as though it is still continuing. Then the last set of tens, future. Just like present and past, we also have simple future. The tense that is used to describe things that haven't happened yet at the present time, but which are expected or likely to occur in the future. So we use these tenses to describe actions that are likely to occur in the future. It hasn't happened yet. It is not happening now. It is likely to occur in the future. I will swim more than 10 laps tomorrow. Tomorrow hasn't come yet. You will see her again next week. So here, swim, the action word, is used to describe something that will happen tomorrow. It's spelled as though it is present. You will see, okay? So that is simple future. Then we have future continuous. The tense that is used for an unfinished action or event that will occur in future and continue for an unexpected length of time. I'll put your hand is up again. Uh, sir, please, my question, the first question I asked, someone didn't understand the explanation that you gave. Albert. Sir. I have warned you guys many, many, many times. Sir, please, it is wrong English. Stop it. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, sir. Uh, it, it seems it seems that William didn't understand the question. Uh, the answer that you you explain the meeting. He said that the meeting is not a verb. In my example, so I said the meeting is the verb. Meet, meet, meet. M e e t is the verb. But when it is happening, continuous. It's um present continuous but when it is has happened in the yeah, future, yeah. in relation to you said a meeting you were in a meeting when somebody came yes please which is perfect that meeting now becomes a past uh, continuous okay, okay. Thank you, sir. All right, Rich Love, your hand is up. Unmute your mic and ask your question, Rich Love. Rich Love, you need to unmute your microphone. Rich Love, Cecilia. Rich Love, your microphone, you have muted your microphone. Oh. Okay, Rich Love, we cannot hear you. Okay, so I will be swimming. Okay, so let's see. Future continues. The tense that is used for an unfinished action or event that will occur in the future and continue for an unexpected length of time. I will be swimming in the new Olympic sized swimming pool on Friday. I will be swimming, continue swim. You add ing becomes continue. And since it hasn't happened yet, it becomes a future continuous. 
By December next year, I will be swimming like a fish. By December next year, I will be swimming like a fish. So these are examples of future continuous tenses. Then we have future perfect tenses. A tense that is used for actions that will be completed between now and some point in the future. At least by the end. Um, Rich Love, I think you can you have on mute your microphone. Please ask your question. Hello, Rich Love. Can anybody hear Rich Love? I cannot hear it. I'm sorry, we cannot hear you. Okay, so I would have swam at least a thousand kilometers by the end of the year. He would have built 40 homes. Now, built, build, build, future, future perfect, you are T. Built. He would have built 40 homes by the first quarter of 2018. Here, this example is assuming 2018 is in the future, not the past 2018. <laughs> okay. Hello, Mr. David. Yes. This one, and the one you just where do we come in with the wood? The wood, and wood. When do we come in with wood? Wood. You mean W O U L D? Yes, please. I oh. think that one will be, will be the part. Oh. That's a beautiful question. In fact, Alice. Uh, there's a whole class I'm going to have on that. The use of will, wood. It, okay. it confuses okay. Okay. both of you in your sentence construction. You mix them up. I will, I would, I would have. We'll have a complete class on it. All right. Thank you for that beautiful question. Now let's look at Future perfect continuous. Future perfect continuous. The tense that is used to describe actions that will come up until a point in the future. For example, by noon today, I will have been swimming for two hours. The event has started already, but it's still continuing, but will end at some point in the future. In April, Damien will have been working in the company for 10 years. In April, Damien would have been working, will have been working in the company for 10 years now. Um, let me confuse you a little bit. Will, we use will, W-I-L-L -L for future perfect continuous tenses. Would will be used for past perfect continuous tenses. But like I said, we'll have a class on it and the picture becomes clearer. Okay, so I had some videos, but I think we have watched the first one. So now you know what the past tense is, 
what the present tense is, what the future tense is. I know it's a little bit confusing, but I want us to use some exercises to, to help you get the meaning of what I'm trying to tell you. So pick out your pens, your pencils, and then do the following exercises. This one, everybody is going to participate. Everybody is going to participate. So which one do we start with? <clears throat> Um, okay, let's start with this one. One second, it will show on your screen shortly. We say practice makes a man, a man perfect. All right. On your screen now are 20 exercises on tenses. This is exercise one. Fill in the blanks with the simple present tense form of the verb given in brackets. Fill in the blanks with the simple present tense form of the verbs given in brackets. There are 20 of them, I'm showing the first um, let me increase the font size so that those with, with the eye problems can see. Uh, one second. Okay, so this is much better. So that is the first N. Finish it up. So this is what I want you to do. Question one, the principal dash to speak to Raj. Want, what is the simple present tense of want? So you just write one, the correct answer. Two, the correct answer. Three. The correct answer, when you finish, you put them in the chat for me. Okay, here we go, start now. Please the sentences are not complete. It doesn't come clear, like it shifted to the other side. I don't understand your question. Can you all see the sentences completely? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Um, if you cannot see it, if you are using a phone, it's can okay. It, it's okay, sir. Uh, if you can't see it, just run. So one, the principal dash to speak to Raj. Two, the F dash around the sun, revolve around the sun. But revolve is incorrect, put the correct form of revolve there. The baby cry all day. Now that sounds like a good sentence, but that is the wrong tense of cry for this sentence. The flight dash at eight o'clock in the morning. Present continues. What dash so good? What smell so good? That is a wrong sentence. So you see how easy to get a sentence wrong. The principal want to speak to Raj. Sounds like a correct sentence, right? Something is wrong. The earth revolve round the sun. Correct sentence? Hmm. All these sentences are wrong. We need you to put the correct form of the verb in the bracket into the blank space.
Okay, I'm sure by now you all would have finished the first 10 questions. I'm showing the last 10 on your screen now to make it 20. Now give me a second, let me increase the font size so that you can see it well. One second, let me reduce the font size of the first thing so that it can align properly. Excellent. All right, so you should be able to see, good, from 11 to 20. I dash up at 7 a.m. every day. I get up. 7 a.m. every day. Amy rarely leave her room. Cows give us milk. My granny cook delicious lasagna. The birds check all day long. The boys study hard to get good grades. The teacher meet the parents today. The movie starts within a few minutes. The fluffy clouds move around. The last one, the dogs back at night. Hello, sir. Please, the instructions again. Are we supposed to change what is in the bracket to pass things? My net went, went, went off. No, you are only to correct it. The sentence is wrong. Correct it by correcting the verb in the bracket. Do you get that? No, sir. Oh, <clears throat> okay. So 11, I get up at 7 a.m. every day. I get up at 7 a.m. every day. Now, that is a wrong sentence because get is not the correct verb to be used here. What should be the correct verb for get? That should be put in that bracket. Okay, sir. In that uh, blank space, I mean. And you do the same for the rest.
Hello, sir. Sir, please kindly scroll up a bit from 16 of us. Okay, guys, sorry, my machine froze a little bit. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please, can I have one to ten? My network also went off. Okay, so one to ten is coming up. Let me increase the font size for you. Okay, so one to ten. One second. Eh? One second. All right, you should be sharing on your screen by now. One to ten. Okay, so let's see. Patricia, Tina J, revolves, cries, leaves, smells, plays, goes, rains. Takes care. Hey, why do you people always add takes care? Then uh, comes, gets, gets, uh, leaves, give, cooks, chat, steady, meet, start, move, back. Uh -huh. That is where you are confused. Beautiful. I love it when little things confuses you. <laughs> Let's see, Alfred. Once revolves, leaves, cries, smell, plays, goes, runs. Hey, you left out an eye. Takes care, comes. Get, leaves, gives, cooks, chef. 
studies, meets, starts, moves, bars. Let me see Professor Vivian entry. Once revolves, cries, leaves, smells, plays, goes, rings, takes care. Then get leaves, gives, cooks, chaps, studies, uh, oh dear, everywhere. S. He just added S to everything. <laughs> okay. That is a great effort. That's a great effort. Mansura, let's see. Get. Okay, that's 11 from 11 to 20. Get leaves, gives, cooks, chaps, studies. Looks as if Mansura also did the S magic. Magic S, just adding S to the verbs. Let me see Suleimana. Get leaves, gives, cooks, chaps, study, meet, start, move. Abdul Malik. Get leaves, gives, cooks, chaps, study, meet, start, move. Naomi Kwe. Get leaves, gives, cook, chaps, study, meet, bad. Joseph Amuakun once revolves, cries, smells, leaves, goes, rains, takes care, comes, gets, gives, cooks, chep, steady, meets, starts, move, back. Okay, let me see the last one. Abigail is back. Let's see from. Uh, Ah, now that's an interesting one. Faustina Ofori. You're 11. It says, wake, leaves, gave, cooked, chapter, studied, met, started, moved, backed. Huh. That's a new one. Now let's look at the instructions again. The instructions for 1 to 20 says, uh, Esther Ankara just dropped us. The instructions for the question says, fill in the blanks with the simple present tense form of the verbs given in bracket. Not the past, but the simple present present tense. Okay. Now, let me share the answers with you. Then you can mark your own scripts. Wait so, for a minute, please. I should give you a minute, okay. I don't want to, yes, I don't want to copy your answer. Let me try. Okay. Fair enough. I will wait patiently for you. Edward Ankara wanted, revolved, cried, lived, smelled, played. Edward, who the baby on the name? Who may have a baby out? Are you sure you are part of this class, Edward? Hmm. Pay attention, though. You have to do present tense, not past tense. Emmanuel get, lives, gives, cooks, chat, steady, meet, moves. Bags. You got some right, you got some wrong, Emmanuel. So this is how your tenses will be worrying you in the aisle. When you are speaking it, it shows. When you are writing it, it's even worse. Okay. And then the reading and the listening. So we need to sharpen your vocabulary, especially your tenses. The, the IELTS exam is administered by the British Council. They are the owners of the English language. So you can imagine. And also as, as uh, answers are in, let's see, once, revolves, cries, leaves, smells, plays, goes, rains, takes, comes, get, leaves, give. Then from 11, it says, get, leaves, give, cooks, chap, steady, meet, starts, move, back. 
and Asharia by your network. William is in, wants, revolves, cries, leaves, smells, plays, goes, rains, takes care. What is wrong with you guys with takes care? Comes, gets, leaves, give, cooks, chap, study, meet, start, move, and back. Okay, let me share the answers with you. And I share the answers with you now. I think so. So let's see the correct answers. For the first time, I think most of you got it right. So once revolves, cries. You remove the Y and you add I E S. I wish I can teach you long English. I'll teach you when you should add IES to the verb to get the present continuous. Then we have plays. Christ lives, smells, plays, goes, rains, takes care, comes. Then from 11, gets without an S, leaves, give without an S, cooks, chat, steady without asses, then meet, start, move without an S, and back without an S. So let's go back. So those of you who did not realize that these sentences are wrong, oops, sorry, one second. They are indeed wrong sentences. The principal wants to speak to Raj. There should be an S at the end of want. The F revolves round the sun. The baby cries all day. So all verbs that normally end with I, with Y, the present perfect, you add IES. That's the general rule, but there are some exceptions. Then the flight leaves at eight o'clock in the morning. What smells so good? You need to add S, okay? And the rest continue. So these are how you get some of your tenses wrong. Um, 20 over 20, Patricia, Esther, Atta, 20 over 20, Hannah, Usua. Hey, Hannah, are you sure? Roxen. Hmm, Roxen, your answer is suspect. Fafa, Dorothy, Olivia. Olivia, thank you for your honesty. I like that about you. Joyce, Fidelia, Fidelia Mark, and let me see, Francisca, 2020, Mandy, great job. Ben, Mame, Joseph, Amago. Joseph, are you sure you got 20 over 20? Philip, thank you for your honesty. Esther, Senam, thank you very much for your honesty. Eva, thank you for your honesty. Okay. Suleimana, thank you. Apia, thank you for your honesty. So you see where you have problems with your tenses. Now, I'm going to give you one more assignment and I'm going to complicate it slightly. Please, Miss Adam. Yes, madam. Can we go back to question 16? One six, okay. Question one. Six. The boys dash. Okay. Hard. Okay. Get yeah. It. I get it. Uh -huh. This one you cannot add IES to it. Yes. 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 All right. Thank you. Okay. Now let me complicate your life for you. Exercise two. There's a sentence. Listen to the instructions carefully. Simple present tense question. Identify the verbs and change them into the simple present tense. The first exercise, 
I gave you all the verbs. Easy. I picked out all the verbs from the sentences and put them in brackets for you. It's easy. This time, I want you to find the verbs and then change them into present stances. So identify the verbs, one, and then change them, two, into simple present tense. Go through the given passage and change the tense of the verbs into the simple present tense. And this is the passage. The passage starts from here, from Sam. Sam's mother got up at six o'clock in the morning. After that, she got fresh and took a yeah, shower. Some of the passages, listen, we can't see the full screen. Uh, if you cannot see the full screen, then it should be a problem from your end. Okay, let me share again. One second. One second, it will show on your screen shortly. Is it better now? Naomi, is it better now? Can you see it now? Yes, please. Now it's fine. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So let me start. Exercise two. Identify the verbs and change them into the simple present tense. So this time, you're going to identify the verb in this passage. More than one verb. <laughs> identify all of them. And then when you are done, you change them into simple present tense. Go through the given passage and change the tense of the verbs <laughs> into the simple present tense. So, this part is not part of it. Let me italics that. Okay, good. This is the passage you have to go through. And I'm reading. <coughs> hey, please get some water to drink. Sam's mother <laughs> got up at six o'clock, eight at six o'clock in the morning. After that, she got fresh and took a shower. Then she prepared breakfast for all of them. She worked very hard to sustain the family. Every day she went down to the market and sold fruits and vegetables. This way, she earned money for the family and sent her children to school. Identify all the verbs in this passage and then change those verbs into simple present tense. Start now. Hmm, William, are you sure? Check carefully.
Okay, are we done now? Now, how many verbs are in this passage? How many verbs did you find? Nine. Hmm. You saw nine verbs. Any other? Ten. ten. Okay, somebody. Ten, nine. Ten. Uh, of course, yeah, the body says, Sir, please, I think anytime you give us something to try our hands on, it should be timed. Okay, yes, madam. Point noted. Okay. Now, you are all going to help me find verbs in this sentence, in the passage. So, Sam's mother got up. Do you see a verb here? Mm. What is the verb here? Yeah. Got. Got. Good. And it is the past tense of which verb? It's. Get. Get. So. Let me highlight it properly. Okay. I can even make it red. Good, so that it stands out. So Sam's mother got up at six o'clock in the morning. Is there any other verb in this sentence? No. No, sir. No, sir. Okay, so remember a verb is an action word. Is there any action word in there? No. Good. Let's go to second sentence. Second sentence, sentence starts from after to shower. After that, she got fresh and took a shower. What are the verbs in this sentence? God, God, and, God and, and, and took. So God, God and, and, and took. 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 Yes. What about shower? Shower. In this context, it's a noun. Thank you for that observation. In this context, shower has not been used as a verb, but rather as a noun. Okay? But there are times where shower becomes a verb. I am going to shower. Then shower becomes a verb. Okay, beautiful. Then let's go to the third sentence. Then she prepared and breakfast for all of them. What is the verb in this sentence? Prepared breakfast. Prepared. 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 Okay. Now, one step back. We agreed, got and took. Got is the past tense of get. Took is the past tense of takes. Takes. Say it with please say it with confidence. Takes. 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 <laughs> okay. So it's the past tense of take T A K E. Now, if you want a simple present tense of take, what would that be? Take. Thanks. 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 Thank you. Then prepared. Prepared is an action word. It's a past tense here. What is the present tense of prepared? Prepared. Prepared. 
Okay. Then let's continue. The next sentence. She worked very hard to sustain the family. She worked very hard to sustain the family. What is the part? Sorry. What is the action word here? Worked. 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 Okay. And that is past tense. What is the present tense? Word. 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 And is there any other action word in that sentence? No. no. All right. Then let's go to the last but one sentence. Every day you went. Okay. Yes. Service. What about sustain? Never use sir please again. Sorry. Sustain is not an action word in this context. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, every day she went down to the market and sold fruits and vegetables. Do you see the verbs? Yes. What are the verbs? Yes. Went. 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 Correct. Went. And so. Sold. So. Went and sold. Yeah. And so. So, what is the present tense for went? Goes. Go. G O. Go. And the present goes. Sentence, it goes. And sold. What is the present tense? Sells. 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 This way, the last sentence, this way, she earned money. The family and spent her children. This way, she earned money and sent her children to school. What are the verbs? And and sent. Excellent. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine verbs. Let me show you the correct answers. Sam's mother gets up at six o'clock in the morning. After that, she gets fresh and takes a shower. Then she prepares prepared breakfast for all of them. She works very hard to sustain the family. Every day, she goes down to the market and sells food and vegetables. This way, she earns money and sells now, Robert, now that then we go. Okay, so who scored hundred percent? Hmm, are you guys sure, Monsura? Okay, I have two hands. Yes. Uh, whose hand is up? Mandy, please unmute your microphone and ask your question. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Okay, so I wanted to ask, since um, God was in twice, do you have to repeat it? Because it has, it has the same... Well, there's no harm in repeating the answer, the get and got. Okay, so if you repeat it or you don't repeat it, you just have everything correct. You still have gotten it right, yes. 
Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Do we have any other question? Okay. Are you having fun as I am? One more exercise. Now this is going to blow your mind. <laughs> One more exercise. 20 of them. Let's see. This is slightly complicated. See, the higher you go, the difficult it becomes. So let's take the difficulty one notch up. Exercise, identify the type of tenses. This time, you are going to identify the type of tenses. Go through the sentences provided below and identify the type of tenses. Remember, the tenses describe the action words. They are verbs. So essentially, look out for the verbs. And then tell me whether the verb you have seen is a present tense, a past tense, or a future tense. Whether it is present perfect, or present continuous, whether it is past perfect, past continuous, or future perfect, future continuous. This one, I know you are going to struggle, but give it your best shot. So the first 10, I have bolded it, made it a bit bigger so that you can see it easily. Question one says, Damon drinks coffee every morning. Drinks coffee every morning. I, I want to help you with the first one. Drinks is the verb and it is a simple present Tense. Every morning, no, a present, present continue. Hello, say. Yes, madam. Hello, say. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello, can you guys hear me? Oh. Please, sorry to bring the simple. Hello. Hello. All yes. the questions. Can you hear me? I said, can we bring the simple for all the questions? Like number one, simple present things. Number two, simple past things. Yes. Should we? Yes. Yes. yes, yes. So one, one, uh, what do you think the verb is? Simple present or simple past or simple future? Simple present, simple past. Hey. Uh, pass. Good. So you only write the number and then the type of pen. Are you clear now? Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Somebody says, I a cat.
Are we done with the first 10? No, please. <laughs> All right, take your time. Okay, this time around, appears your answers are slow in coming. Why? When I was teaching you the various tenses, you were not paying attention. I'm sure by now you are done with the first 10. Let me show you. Let me show you. The last ten. So I see there are only ten people in the class. Huh. That's strange. Okay, you do your best. Make an attempt. Huh? Make an attempt. Let's see. Let's see. Excellent. So the last 11, they have known each other for a long time. 12, Sam was going to school. 13, when I ride there, sorry, when I went there, 
Becky was playing video games. 14, the workers have been working on the building for a long time. 15, Penny had done her homework when her parents came back. 16, Mr. Arnold had been writing his last book for four months. 17, I will move to Delhi soon. 18, Mr. Samuel will be staying in New York next week. 19, Beverly will have left before you arrive to see her. 20, Mr. Peter will have been teaching for 12 years next month. This one is Fufu Lelew. Hey, Rachel. Rachel, I know, thank you. Question, answer two. You say past ends. You have missed a T. Naomi Kwe, thank you for the effort. Alice, thank you for the effort. Mami. Thank you for the effort, Eva, Lawrence, Anita, PAC, Esther Arta. Is Esther Ankara in class today? You are quiet to, to hear from you. Damaris, thank you. Jessica, thank you. Bright. Thank you. Patience, thank you. Uh, so let's see the rest. Monsura, finally. Apia Opoku. Okay, I'm waiting for the last 10. Okay, which one has just dropped? Esther Senam. Judith Stevens. By the Opoku, hey, this is your first assignment to do. Sophia Asabia. Sophia, this one, so channel. This is what you've been teaching your, your kids. Olivia, one word, passed. <laughs> Olivia Ayaka. <laughs> okay, you were typing there. Oh no. And next up, Baji. Uh huh. Your first assignment today. <laughs> okay. Olivia, I'm waiting for yours. I'm waiting for your yours. Send me your yours. Bright Japan, 11 to 20, great 
Uh, you started from 12. Where is your 11? IV 1 to 11. Olivia is in. Hooray. Hey, Messi Bobby T. Wow. Today it must be raining wherever you are. In Tema, eh? <laughs> Today, Mercy had tried her hands on my assignment. I'm the luckiest man on earth. Catherine Esia Bra, thank you. I'm waiting for 11 to 20. Vida Opoku, thank you. You're 11 to 20 is here. Anita, 11 to 20 is here. Samson, 1 to 20. Wow. Great job. Okay. Jessica, Japan, 1 to 20. Great job. Uh, how are Dango? Whoa. Today, where did I sleep? Oh. Huh. Hey, mommy, one to 17. Where's the last three, mommy? Okay, <clears throat> let me see Esther Atta. Where is Esther Ankara today? Isaac Kunedu, one to 20, great job. Where is my Esther Ankara today? I, I knew she's in class. Okay, let me share my answers with you. So, question sir, one. Please wait, you are now typing. Oh, sir, please, sir, please, sir, please. Baba Sam, one to 20. Hey, wait to oh, Baba. Baba, where is the rest? Let me see, Baba. So because you were about to, you were about to share the answers, so I had to just okay. forward it before you do that. Okay, I have paused. Finish the rest. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Manuela, one to twenty. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you, Manuela. Ivy, 1 to 20, yes. Mercy, 11 to 20, thank you. Now, when you put your mind to it, it will come to you, I promise you. Mommy, thank you for bringing me my last three.
Lawrence, thank you. Nelly, thank you so much. Roxanne, great job. Mandy, finally, Mandy is here. Ivy, yes, you are welcome. Fidelia, oh, you are totally lost. Don't worry, we'll find you soon. Sophia, thank you. Beatrice, a kufu drop. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Rachel Asante. Not Rachel, I know. Okay, now let me share my the correct answers. On your screen now are the correct answers. I want you to mark your own answers and tell me your score. Mary Derzu, thank you. Anna Owusua, only one and two. Hmm. So he just posted the answers, so I stopped typing. Oh, but the question had been posted long ago, centuries ago. What were you doing? Okay. So compare it with your answers. One to three, simple present tense. Four, present continuous tense. Five, six, present. Oh no, five is simple future. Six is simple past. Then seven to nine, present perfect. 10, present perfect continues, and so on and so forth. Did you come up? Patronessi <laughs> Abra, mark your script and tell me what you got. Esther, 11 over 20. Thank you for your honesty. Mercy, 12 over 20. Hmm. So, Hey, Mandy, why are you okay? PSA is laughing at Mandy's comment. <laughs> Mandy 16 over 20, okay. Hmm. Uh, so clearly, my people, we have tenses problem. You have a problem with tenses. Serious problem. Suddenly the house is gone quiet. All the men have run away. <laughs> oh, but it's good. It's a great start. <laughs> We'll build on it gradually. Mm -hmm. So simple, simple, simple things like this. You go to the exams, you do your best, but your tenses bring you back, failing, not getting the right band score. But I know you're going to work very hard. I trust in your hard work. I know you people, when you put your mind to anything, you get it done. Oh, Hannah, don't worry. You are, you are not bad, though. 17 over 20, you've done well. You are probably the high. you have the highest score today. Yeah. 
Okay, in a handwriting. Okay, so fire 16 over 20. Hey, so fire. Then we need to work hard to improve your tenses. Hmm. Okay, let me see something. Let me see if I can lift your spirit before you go home today. <laughs> okay, one last exercise. Only 10 questions. You will love this one. It is going to lift your spirit before we close. One last exercise. One last one. Still on the tense is over. Um, let me share my screen. Okay. This time, you are going to change the tenses. This time, make life easy for you. We have identified the tense, and your job is to change it. Okay? So change the tense. Go through the sentences and change their tenses as directed. So here, the boy speaks the truth. The boy speaks the truth. This speaks is a simple present tense. What I want you to do is change this simple present tense into present continuous tense. Mm -hmm. Did I say I was going to make your life easy for you? <laughs> Let's see. Number two, Mr. Cooper has spoken about dinosaurs. Mr. Cooper has spoken about dinosaurs. Now, spoken is past tense. What I want you to do is change spoken from the current past tense into present perfect continuous tense. Then three, the boat sailed yesterday. The boat sailed yesterday. Sailed is past tense. Change it to simple Present tense. Four, Amy went to school yesterday. Went is a past tense. Change it to future continuous tense. Hmm. Five, the baby cried for hours. Cried, past tense. Change it to present perfect continuous tense. Six, Robert ate all the cookies. Ate, past tense. Change it to present perfect tense. Seven, I have finished my assignment. Even though you are here to start yours. Finished, past tense. Change it to past perfect tense. Uh, eight, Mr. Bert had taught for five years. Change taught to past perfect continuous tense. Nine, Dev saw the prime minister yesterday. Saw, change saw to future continuous tense. And then the last one, Priya shall finish her stitching by then. Finish, shall finish, shall finish. Change it to future perfect tense. Are you all clear? 
Yes, sir. Oh, the yes is very weak. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm giving you five minutes. Maybe not all of you. I think so. Let's this is start. more than lifting our spirits. <laughs> Hey, are my people here? Say we are with you. Okay. If I should tell you a secret. We are lifting our spirits here. That's good. If I should just please. The truth about this test, the this exercises you are doing is that this is in the U.S. class seven English grammar, class seven. Class seven in Ghana is like JHS uh, one, right? Yeah. 
Hey, this is morning. <laughs> Class seven, that is GHS one English language. Uh, Nelly, I don't think you get the. Okay, Nelly, go on, go on. You're on the right path. Go on. Hey, Sir David, please, why are you? Why did you lie to us? I am here waiting for you. Are you done? Yes, sir. We've sent some okay. on the page. On the Let's see. Yes, I've been looking at what you've been sending. Oh, hmm. I've seen answers from Nelly started with one and stopped. I'm not sure. I think she's still typing. Nelly, I'm waiting for her. Then Olivia came in hot, super hot. Then patience followed. Mercy, Eva, 
Manuela uh, Bright, and then Judith Jessica Esther. Uh, appeal purposes a minute, sir. <laughs> I'll give you all the minutes in the world. Okay, so Faustina is in. Hmm. Thank you, Faustina. Apia finally came through. Mandy, yes. Thank you for that. Nelly finally came through. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Esther Atta is in. Jessica is in. Uh, let's see. Uh, two more. Hawadango is in. Roxanne Bay is finally in. And then Mame. Uh, Florence came back. Okay. All right. I think I want to share my answers with you. Oh, I'm just pop up. Let's see. <clears throat> Fafa. Fafa. Uh, Speaking has been sales, will be going, cry. Hmm. And Sophia, yes, yes, thank you. All right. Now, these are the answers. Let me, let me make it a bit better so that you can see more clearly. 
Oops. I know this font size is not good. Let me change the font size. Yes, much better. Okay. So, the boy is speaking the truth. One says, the boy speaks the truth. Change speaks to present continuous. You add ing to speak, and you are speaking. Then number two, Mr. Cooper has spoken. Present perfect continuous. Spoken is past, has been speaking about dinosaurs. Then, third one, the boat sailed yesterday. The verb here is sail, S-A-I-L. Want you to change it to simple present tense. Only add F to the verb. So the boat sails today. The boat sails today. Then let's go to four. Amy went to school yesterday. Went. That is the part. Went is the verb. What is the in this past tense? What is the present tense of went? Hello, guys. What is the present tense of when? Go. Go. And one Go. future continuous. Go. So has been going. Amy has been going, or Amy will be going to school tomorrow. Then five. Yes. Amy will be going is the correct. Has been will be uh, past perfect. So will be future uh, continuous tense. The baby cried. Cried for hours. We want present perfect continuous. Baby cried. Cry is the verb. And we want present crying. Okay. So the baby has been crying for hours. Then number six, Robert at all at. This is the past tense of eat. So Robert eat. What what did they say? We should change it to. Present perfect tense. So Robert has eaten all the cookies. That's strange. Has eaten. Present perfect. Okay. Number seven. I have finished my assignment, past perfect, finished. Still the same, I have finished my assignment. So here, I don't think you change anything. Number seven, I have finished my assignment, correct. Then number eight, Mr. Bird had taught for five years, past perfect continues, has been taughting. <laughs> has been teaching for the last five years. Then number nine, Dev saw the prime minister yesterday. Saw, past. We want to change it to future continue. So you will be seeing the prime minister. Uh, yes, you'll be seeing the prime minister. You cannot add yesterday. So Dev will be seeing the prime minister tomorrow. Good. Then the final one, Priya. 
shall finish her stitching by Ben. Shall finish. Finish is the verb shall makes it future perfect. Future perfect shall finish her stitching tomorrow. Uh, it remains the same. Priya shall shall have finished her stitching by then. Mm. Okay. Says what? Tomorrow. Oh, by then. Priya shall have finished her stitching by then. Okay. Priya shall have finished her stitching by then. Okay, so these are some of the common tenses we use, and you'll be using every day. You'll be using them in your IELTS. What it means, what uh, today's exercise shows is that we need to improve upon our tenses. I'll be sharing a couple of elements with you. You'll be working on over the weekend, and then you send it on Monday. I'll post them on the page. You work on them and post them on Monday. Now, before I close, I want to briefly talk about the last reading. Was it reading or listening assignment? Reading. Assignment, was it? So it was reading. Reading, okay. Reading. Uh, you have some passages, the Braille system, and then the uh, computer security system. Those who submitted the assignments on time, I give you the correct answers so that you can mark your own script and score yourself. The answers came with detailed explanation. So one dot, and that is the explanation. Two fingertips, that is the explanation. Three, four, five, six, seven, all the way to 15. Okay. Now, some of you came back and said the answers were not correct. Do you still hold that view that these answers are not correct? Sir, please, it's not this one. It's with the second one, the computer security. Never the seen computer that. security. Okay, so everybody... Yes, yeah, the second one. Everybody is comfortable with the first one, right? Yes. yes, please. Yes, All right. So let's go to the second one. Computer system. One minute. Let me find it. Um, where are you? Computer system. Uh, okay. There you are. It should show on your screen shortly. Can you all see it now? Yes, please. So, yes, sir. Where is your problem? So number one, the fifty percent. So mm -hmm. the number one to number seven is supposed to be the I, the I, I, and then I, 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 and then. Uh huh. Then uh, I think from uh, eight? eight to uh, eleven. Uh, eleven. Is eleven true is false true or, or false given. or not given. Yes. But your answer doesn't correspond to that. Hmm. 
Oh boy, I may have sent you the wrong answers. Yes, sir. Hold on one second, let me check the yeah. questions. Um, computer, computer. Okay, so this is um Aha. Computer security system, question one to seven. The reading passage has six paragraph A to G. Choose the correct heading from each paragraph from the list of read headings below. Write the correct number I to IX as your answers to each question. Okay, so these are the questions, paragraph A to G. And the answers came from I, this one. Ah, so what is wrong? And then eight to 11, do the, do the following statement agree with the information given in the reading passage? Right, true, false, not and given against yeah, each. Yeah. And then and, back. And, back. and then uh, 12 to 14, choose no more than three words from passage for each. When was the Morris worm introduced? Uh, into the internet, which act was introduced late in 2001, which is one of the prime information security measures. Okay, give me a second, let me check what is it that is going on here. Uh, Computer systems answers. There you are. Okay. Um, hmm. Are you guys sure? Let's see. One to seven. I come here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Oh, I see. It is the numbering that is wrong. The numbering are wrong. Okay. The numbering are wrong, but the answers are correct. The numbering are wrong. The Roman numerals started from four to, I think, nine is the numbering that is wrong. I'm going to check. I mean, maybe it is the when probably we're formatting it, then the number shifted. So I will check on it and post the correct answers on the group chat. But those who did the first one, you did a great job. Thank you very much. Yeah. I, I, I think it's a numbering that is wrong. Okay. Thank you. Now, um, we finally figured how we can get the audios for the, what do you call it? One second. Why is my internet so slow this evening? 
we finally figured how to get the audios for the Cambridge book, the book we were using. Uh, we have finally figured how to get the audios for across to you. Um, what I'm going to do, okay, is because I'm recording, I cannot share that. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to post this a little bit of a large file, but we'll share them the page for you so that you have the audios. Now, once you have the audio, uh, coming days, we're going to time you for uh, each, each of the text in the Cambridge book. Uh, if, you, if you master it, the timing, you'll be able to pass the test with ease. On my last comment, the last time we met, we requested that those who are interested in the IL trial test, the next IL trial test should submit their names. Most of you have done soon, but I have noticed that a lot of you, a lot of you submitted their names are not regular at and you don't attend classes regularly. If you do that, you are definitely not going to participate in the trial. Then. Let me see that again. All those who had expressed interest to participate in the trial test, thank you. But if you don't attend classes regularly, I will not add your name to the names that will go to the British Council. It is not a joke. We want you to take it seriously. It comes at a cost to us and to the British Council. It's not cheap, it's very expensive. So you need to prove that you are ready for the IELTS trial test. Not just pushing your name and then going to sleep, expecting the day comes, we call you, then you go and take it. No. You need to be regular in class and participating fully, actively, not connect, mute your microphone, and do other things. You don't participate in any of the exercises. No, 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 no. Then you are not taking the IL trial test. So be clear in your mind. On that note, thank you very much for coming. I'll be sharing the assignment on the page shortly and then the recording of today's class. Uh, goodbye and good night to you all. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Bye.